Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to download the original StarCraft. And this is totally legit. It's directly from Blizzard through a CNET link, which is easily accessible. So here's the link. I'll try to remember to paste it down in the uh, below the video. So it's uh, how to download the original StarCraft for free to help generate buzz for the upcoming, this is from 2017, back in 2017, uh, upcoming StarCraft Remastered, Blizzard is giving away the game that started it all. Here's how to get it. Along with Command and Conquer, ooh, I didn't realize they had Command and Conquer too. Blizzard StarCraft ushered in real-time strategy genre as we know it. Hard to believe that was almost 20 years ago, or 25 years ago now. Never played the game? Good news, it's now available for free. Why why the giveaway? Blizzard is no doubt hoping to create some buzz around StarCraft Remastered, which apparently has 4K graphics. Um, so right here is the link, the Windows version and the Mac version. You just click it, and it will pop it up to download. You can see I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to hit cancel, but you'd want to hit save and remember wherever you download it to. And then you can hit, if you don't have it, should in uh, the Chromium-based browsers, it should show a download right here. In the Firefox-based ones, it should show maybe a some kind of download indicator up here. Otherwise, you hit Control-J. should be at the top of your list, so I can click StarCraft Setup. And it's going to update your Battle.net agent. And if it's your very first time running it, it will probably take a little longer, maybe, than mine is. We'll see, though. Since I'm recording a video, it looks like it might be going a little slower. All right. So after a minute, you should get this screen. And it's going to ask you for this stuff to log in for, like, multiplayer stuff. And... I don't know if you're around back in the 90s, but there was a big deal with like how the user data, I believe, was being handled back then. And there's something that I can't remember the exact controversy, but you might look it up because there was something to do with Battle.net and what was going on with that. So that's interesting to see this again. It was like one of those first pieces of software for the most part of its kind and controversial so anyway you can skip this whole login thing if you want and you just click this little settings gear make sure all this is right I don't know if you want to hit appear offline you might want to double check the settings make sure your language is right I told it not to remember the login info um, and then I left browser acceleration checked so if all that's good click that gear one final time and go down to the bottom choice continue without logging in and click that and then personally, I'm just going to disable auto update in case, from what I know, this is supposed to be like a minor update to the very original StarCraft. And as long as that just makes it run, I'm cool. I don't want anything they might decide to get some wild idea and sneak in on me. So they can ask me if they want to update it. And you can see down here, it's going to require about six and a half gigabytes. So that's pushing two layers worth of DVD right there. That, that will not fit on one DVD. But what it is, to my knowledge, is it's... I'm going to go ahead and start the install. To my knowledge, it's actually the original StarCraft plus, like, the Blood Wars expansion pack. Or I don't know. I probably got the name wrong for what expansion pack it is. But it's supposed to include an expansion pack as well. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, so I guess this is the old Battle.net, which I never used, but it's very Steam-like, I feel like. I don't know if this is a newer version of it or not. But maybe this is part, this is a good idea for them market-wise to get people to sort of like install their app store, so to speak, right? So now all of a sudden I have this ecosystem that they're drawing me into. So it looks like I'm going about two and a half megabytes a second. I still have five over five and a half gigs left, so I'll pause it and be back in a flash. All right, back in action. Finalizing the install. That just took 
however long it was on this clock um, with subtraction and factoring 60 second rule whatever so finalizing probably means installing and there's 6.5 gigabytes Oh, are they running what? Right in the middle of the shift? Wow. All right, now we can hit play. <laughs> so for those of you that didn't hear that, the coffee shop was just upgraded to newer Windows PCs at the point of sale systems. And now they reboot when they feel like it. <laughs> it's stuck, it's stuck in this freaking video all right well anyway you probably can't see that video on your screen because it's too fancy or something but I have Starcraft loaded and running in theory and in practice in the background and it's loud um, <clears throat> here's the link I guess to that command and conquer gold and that was the original command and conquer supposedly but it only wants to run in Windows. I thought the original ran in DOS, but who knows? Um, maybe that's the gold version. So if you follow this link, I'll try and also remember to paste. Then you should be able to click download and you'll get a zip file with the command and conquer in there. Anyway, thanks for watching.